Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some affordable DIY magic band decor. I'll insert a photo of some of the ones I previously did, but today I'm going to show you um, just some ones that I am working on for my upcoming Disney trip. Um, as you can see here, I'm just unboxing the magic bands. Uh, you can Google or watch on YouTube uh, many magic band unboxings. Um, these are just a few of the couple things that actually come in the box with the magic bands, like your luggage tag, your magical extras card, um, as well as some instructions. Um, so like I said, you guys can go online and see some more about that. Uh, so here I have the two magic bands that I'll be decorating today. Uh, they're just a standard gray. I have so many different colors of magic bands and uh, this time, I just decided I wanted to go with the plain gray. Um, they're just easier to decorate in terms of what colors you wanna choose. Um, so yeah, so first I usually get my decals from Etsy. Etsy is an awesome place to get decorations. Um, the first set of decals I got is from Seashell Creations. I've gotten many decals from their shop before in the past and I'll link uh, both of the shops that I'm using down below so that you guys can check them out. Um, it just basically comes with some instructions on how to place the decals. Um, there's my order form and um, the actual decals themselves. Um, they're pretty affordable. Um, so like I said, just check out the link if you're interested in um, taking on this project yourself. Uh, there's so many different kind of decals you can get. Um, I can go on and on about lists of different characters and letters and numbers and so many different things. Um, I just went with the standard castle here um, that says 2018 on them. Um, and then I also had uh, some decals that have our names on them. Uh, so the second set of decals that I have here are actually from the shop called Craft Your Home. Uh, this is the first time I am buying from this shop. However, I was thoroughly impressed with the shipping um, as well as the quality of the product. Uh, so like I said, check, out, check them out below. Um, and there's many, many other Etsy shops. Um, I'm sure in the future I will be uh, checking out some more shops just to see um, what everyone has. Um, so they package them really well so that you don't lose them, which is awesome because um, they can really get lost. Uh, so on this shop, I've got um, some Mickey Mouse shaped and Minnie Mouse shaped heads for the Magic Band um, little carve out that they have of the Mickey heads on the sides of the Magic Bands. Um, I believe that this one goes to the side here. Um, well, that's what I'm looking at there, but I la realized later on that it actually goes at the top of the magic band. Um, and then we actually got our names here. Um, I don't remember actually ordering those two um, extra Mickey head decals on the sides of the names. Um, but I do remember her saying that it would, I think it's like a free gift, which is kind of cool so that you can have um, a little bit of extra uh, decoration there for your magic band. So first you wanna get uh, like a credit card or some sort of card that you're gonna need to scrub the actual decal with. I just have my um, gift card here. So you're gonna actually scrape the magic band decal just to make sure that the decal is actually sticking to the transfer paper. Uh, you can lift up the transfer paper to check it. If it's not sticking, go ahead and rub it some more. If it is, then you're just gonna go ahead and peel it off. And then you're gonna take your magic band and kind of decide exactly where you wanna put it. Um, I'm just trying to figure out here where exactly I wanna put it, but I know I wanna put it on the side that actually has more space. Um, and I actually noticed that the Mickey head that they added onto the name Actually, I probably should have cut off the Mickey head and then turned it to the side. That way it could go kind of where that little carving is. Um, but that's okay. I'm not perfect at this. I, it's kind of like trial and error. So you can kind of, you know, take your time and figure out where you want to place it. Um, so once you've got it placed where you want, you're going to take your card and you're going to just rub and scrape all over the decal. 
um, really hard and firm until you can get it to stick. You wanna go over it a couple times just to make sure um, because just these stuff are pretty tricky. So once you put it on there, you can easily mess it up. And like, just take off the edge to kind of see if it pops up. And if it does, there you go. You just pull off the transfer paper and it's stuck on there. It's kind of like a sticker, um, but a little bit more sturdy. It lasts longer. Um, and yeah, I mean, and I've even gone in the water with these and haven't had an issue. Um, so I'm pretty sure maybe not exactly waterproof, but definitely lasts a while. So this is where I noticed that the actual blue, uh, the, uh, the other blue uh, decal was actually for the middle one. Um, and here's why I, I realized I also <laughs> messed up uh, because my castle was a little bit too big to fit in the space where I wanted it to. Um, I realized if I would have cut off that little Mickey head at the end of the name, um, then I would have been able to get my castle to fit, but um, that's okay. You kind of just, uh, you can kind of just make it how you want. It's your magic band and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna put that one down for now and uh, move on to my next one and figure out what I'm gonna do with that one later. Um, so yeah, so basically you're just gonna repeat those same steps. You're gonna take your decal and take your card and rub over it a little bit just to make sure that that is sticking to your transfer paper. That's the most important thing. You don't want it um, to lift up or get stuck on that other paper. So then you peel it off and then you've gotten your uh, sticker, uh, your excuse me, your decal onto your transfer paper. Um, and then you take your magic band and figure out exactly when you want to place it. So like I said, be careful when you're placing these um, because once you stick it down, it's kind of hard to pull back up without messing it up. So you want to make sure that it's even. I mean, if it's off a little bit, like I said, this is just something that you can do with your family for fun. Um, it's not like <laughs> something super, super um, necessary for it to be perfect. Um, unless you're a perfectionist, which is okay too. Um, but for me, I kind of just like doing it for just for fun, uh, aesthetic purposes, just, uh, you know, it's a conversation piece when we go into the parks. Some of the cast members always ask us about it, so it's kind of cool. Um, I love the gold, how it looks on the gray. Um, I try to, you know, get colors that will look really cool or stand out more. But I really, really love this sparkly gold. It um, really, really uh, comes out really well. Um, so here I'm trying to do the castle um, and I was having a little bit of trouble with the castle trying to come up It kept sticking to the paper. So I actually had to um, Do it a couple times keep rubbing the cards Sometimes you can get like I said a little stuck and you'd have to keep doing it a couple times But you can kind of you know use your finger to even push up the numbers a little bit um, And that's okay. It'll usually work if um, you have something sharp or like it like I was using my nail here to pull up the numbers so that they will stay onto the paper and then going back over with my card just to make sure um, that it's gonna stay on there. Um, Cause like I said, once you once those little numbers or anything, once, once those decals pretty much get crumpled, um, it's kind of hard to go back from there. But like I said, I am just using my finger here to um, scrape it up and it, it came up pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that one on to my magic band as well and because uh obviously the word mom is a little bit shorter that allowed my castle to fit perfectly um with enough space unlike the other magic band um however with this one i still could have cut off the mickey head as well and put it at the end of it so um because like i said that's what i realized that that was for um but that's okay too i still like it, it still came out really cute um so like i said it doesn't have to be perfect um, so yeah, once again, just place where you want and take your card and rub it over it until you feel comfortable that it has came off um, on there. And take your time when you're doing this. You don't have to rush. Um, I mean, unless you're <laughs> crunch for time, but um, do it when you have some time to kind of just take your time and do it so that way you're not um, messing it up. Um, so yeah, so here is what it's looking like so far. I've got the gold 2018 castle along with mom in that nice pretty glittery gold. So now I'm gonna attach the smaller mini head onto the actual top of the magic band. Um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube as well as just in general on Pinterest, like they paint their magic bands. And I've heard that um, 
when you put something over the magic band it kind of it's hard to open like your room door with it or pay things but I've done I've been doing these magic bands for years um, really just for my family nothing professional and I've done this every time with putting the decals over it and it's never been an issue for me um, I've never had an issue like opening my door or anything like that yeah so this is what it's looking like so far I'm in love with it so far um, the Mickey head and the other decals came out perfect just the way I wanted it it looks really, really cute um, so I'm excited to wear that um, so then I just go back in with the other one that I was doing to try to figure out how I can get um, the castle on there um, or even not the castle just try to kind of figure out like I said this is where I was showing that um, I should have taken that Mickey head and put it on the other side um, but what I decided to do instead was to just go ahead and nix the castle and just use the 2018, um, which was fine. I just, uh, didn't take, didn't rub the castle off onto the transfer paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer the trans, excuse me, transfer the 2018, uh, numbers onto the, uh, magic band. So that way I can have it saying 2018. Um, <laughs> my eight came out a little bit crooked there. Um, but that's okay this one's for my son <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place the Mickey head this one is also a little bit tricky when you're placing it to get that Mickey head like spot on just as it's carved out on the magic band but like I said don't you know beat yourself up trying to make it perfect um, you can obviously but um, make it perfect but that's okay if it's a little bit off mines are never perfect honestly <laughs> um, so yeah, that one came out pretty cool. I didn't, like I said, I didn't put the castle on there, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so basically these are the final products of my Magic Bench of 2018. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe and like this video if you guys are interested in some more Disney DIY. I will be posting videos every week with some more cool projects for you guys. Thanks, bye.